Hi beauties! Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy gift that you can make from the Dollar Tree using this um, unscented pillar candle and then these paper um, gift wrap tissues that I showed you in my last haul. And so let's go ahead and get started. All I'm going to do is take some of that tissue paper and I just cut out a piece here and then I actually measured it up to the size of the candle and I went ahead and just cut it the size of the candle just a little bit shorter and then wrapped it around and made sure that it fit uh, wrapped all the way around as well and I didn't wrap it all the way and you'll see why so I'm going to take that little piece there and then I'm just going to choose um, a stamp set that I like. This one is Lovely as a Tree uh, by Stampin' Up. It's been around forever. It's a great go-to and it's perfect for any season. So all we're going to do is there's a shiny side and then there's a dull side. And we're going to go ahead and just pick the dull side to stamp on. I've picked a couple different colors and it was... Uh, some crumb cake and this pear pizzazz and always artichoke and then I picked this stamp from the stamp set so we're gonna get out that crumb cake and that's gonna be our first color and we're just going to ink this up nice and well and then we're just gonna take this and stamp it right on there a little bit toward the top and you can't really see it too much but there you go now you can see it a little bit better and that's all we're gonna do there we're just gonna close this back up I love these stamp pads and then I'm just gonna take um, just one of these like little sham wow type things and I, I used to use baby wipes and then somebody said that they use something similar to this. I don't think it was this, but I got this at the Dollar Tree as well and it comes off so great with just a little bit of the Stampin' Mist on there. I have the, um, the good old go-to uh, Stampin' Scrub, but I really, I've found that this works really nice. So we'll just stick with that. Then I'm going to get out the pear pizzazz. I'm going to do the same exact thing. And I'm just doing it in multiple layers. I mean, you could do it in just the one layer if you wanted to. But I'm doing it in multiple layers um, just to give it some depth. So I'm going to offset it just a little bit. And then go ahead and stamp that. And you'll see there that it gives it a little bit of dimension there. And again, you could be done at this point. You don't have to keep going, but I wanna give it even a little bit more with the Always Artichoke. Now I could continue to stamp because the Pear Pizzazz is lighter, but I just don't wanna muddy up my colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off real quick. And it works so well to take that off. So you could see hardly any is there. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp this again. And we're gonna just move it a little bit again to the side. And there we go. And you'll see but it looks like a beautiful little forest there with those three colors. So the last things I'm gonna need, and this is what puts it all together, is just a heat embossing tool. Um, you can buy one from me through Stampin' Up. I have multiples of different ones I've bought here, there, and everywhere. So I'm just gonna clean this up real quick. If I don't clean it up now, who knows when I'll do it. So, 
Okay, that's all taken care of and we are done stamping. Now, this might get a little loud because I wanna dry the ink that's on there. So I'm just gonna turn that on, let it heat up for a little bit and then dry it. And there you go. So we've got that dry and we've got our candle which I set somewhere, here it is. And now we're just going to um, unravel the candle, take off the plastic, and get started. So I really like to use just these white um, candles that are from the Dollar Tree. They work rather nicely. You could leave this bottom on if you wanted to or you can take it off, or you can take it off and put it back on later. It's just a sticker, so you're good to go. If you're gonna give it as a gift, you might wanna have that sticker there. And same with this top. You can just remove that, or you can put it back on. So, I've cut this to the same size. Now, last time I we stamped on this side that was not um, shiny, we're actually gonna turn that over and I'm going to just put this, wrap it around, okay? And just wrap it nicely here. And it goes almost all the way around. And this one is a little bit longer. So I'm gonna cut it just a little bit off because we don't want the two, um, these two pieces of tissue ends to match up. I don't know if you can see. I may have moved out of the camera, and I hope I didn't on any of that. I wasn't paying attention. I got so excited. So I only have this one candle, so <laughs> one take and we're done. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little piece of washi tape, any color that you want, and just take a little piece so that you don't have to hold this in place. And we'll remove it in just a bit. Okay, isn't that pretty? So now all we're gonna do is we're going to melt very lightly the um, tissue paper into the candle wax. So be very careful, don't burn yourself. And you don't want the candle wax to burn too much, okay? So really keep an eye on it. And we'll just start back here, and you'll see it'll start to heat up and melt just a little bit. See that? I don't know if you can see it or not. And then what I do is I just start to melt it and I roll it in there. And you can see it kind of gets a little bit glossy there. I'm gonna roll it. And be very careful not to burn yourself and not to completely melt the um, candle in too many spots. And it is just, you're rolling it to keep, uh, press that, see I melted it a little bit too much here. So I'm going to go over it just a little bit more. And roll it down. There we go. So we're going to go all the way around like this. And you can see it kind of melting. So 
sorry, I'm just trying to get this without burning my fingers there. And it's done really well. You can see that I've melted a little bit um, more on these ends because I want those ends to stay nice. And then you can just go back and if there's any part that you've missed, just give it a little bit more and roll it down. And now we're going to take this part off. You have to be careful. See, I no, there we go. And we're going to um, do a little bit more because it didn't get on that spot that um, the tape was on. So I'm just going to get a little bit more and get it down in there. And there you go. You can just reform any any of the edges if it if it started to come off or anything like that but you have this super cute candle and you stamped on it any design you want and then I'm just gonna take a piece of this twine here and then I have this piece here as well I'm just gonna take a piece of that I don't exactly know how much I need We'll go ahead and put those two ends together. Look at that. Woohoo! Look at that. <laughs> so, and then I'm just going to take that and wrap it around. You could wrap it around the bottom, you could wrap it around the top, wherever you'd like. And then just make yourself a nice little knot or a bow, or whatever you choose to come up with this cute little gift for one of your friends or to burn in your house. look at that cute little gift for a friend all right beauties I hope you enjoyed learning to stamp on candles I hope you guys make these for gifts for your friends and this one here is going to be going in uh, the giveaway for week nine so make sure you uh, sign up for that 12 weeks of Christmas week nine giveaway and I hope you win this all right, make sure you subscribe. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.